In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a project that is launching in August. We are talking about a layer one blockchain, a native coin. We're also talking about mining and NFTs. So stay tuned and enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Eric here and welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day and are doing well. We are taking a look at a brand new project today. This one here is called Cadena Mining Club DAO and it isn't actually out yet. They do plan on launching sometime in August. So in about a month to a month and a half, we should have a launch date and more details on the launch. But what we can do right now is talk about what this project is and of course understand a bit more and what is actually the use for us users to invest in this project so if we take a look at what this project is we're talking about nfts we're talking about crypto mining and the cryptocurrency in question is cadena because of course we're talking cadena mining club so if we go on to cadena and you don't know what this crypto is and you don't know what this blockchain is definitely go on to cadena.io this is a blockchain in my opinion that has a lot of scalability and potential in the future now of course this is not me telling you that this is going to go up guaranteed in the future crypto is crypto and nobody has a crystal ball to kind of plan what's going to happen in the future because of course anything can happen now the things about cadena that makes me very interested in it is the fact that it's a no cost transaction blockchain meaning that you don't have to pay anything for these transactions and a few other elements that makes this blockchain very interesting is their energy efficient it is a proof of of work blockchain so we're not talking about proof of stake we're talking about proof of work but it is energy efficient which is why it's good and of course the industrial scalability here it says our protocol continually scales to higher tps which is transactions per second as more chains are added to the network. So if we take a look at the price of Cadena, if we go to a three month chart, obviously we have seen the whole crypto space be in a bear market. But if we take a look back at the month of March, we had Cadena around seven to six dollars. Right now it's sitting at a dollar seventy four. But if we take a look at an all time chart for Cadena, we obviously had a massive run in September of 2021, hitting an all-time high of about $24. Then we had some consolidation in early 2022. Again, it was sitting around $6 or $7. And as we see with the bear market right now, we are sitting at $1.74. Now, of course, I am not telling you guys that this is guaranteed to go up. Again, crypto is crypto and anything can happen. But if we just take a look at Cadena as a whole, if this this is a layer one blockchain and then we have more d apps built on top of cadena well you just see the potential that it may have as well as with no cost to transact on this blockchain it does make it appealing to some people so going back to Cadena Mining Club and understanding how this project is going to work, they're going to be selling 10,000 NFTs. They're going to be using the proceeds of that sale to buy miners to mine KDA. And they're also going to be buying a hosting service in order to host those miners for them. Now, just taking a look at a miner, let's say you wanted to buy a miner for yourself. Well, you're looking at a few several thousand dollars, if not a lot more and just taking a look at some of these we can see it ranges from about a thousand all the way to eleven thousand and even onwards of forty thousand dollars so of course your general public does not have that much money to spend on a miner and if you do well good for you because you'd probably just want to buy one of these miners now if we take a look at how much one nft is going to cost you and how much you can expect in order to generate revenue on this well taking a look at this there's going to be 10,000 nfts in total as we said and 1500 are reserved for whitelisted addresses and those are going to cost 200 dollars each 
Now we do have some good news because we've actually partnered with them and they are going to be giving us 10 whitelisted spots. So we're going to be giving away five on Twitter and five on Discord. So definitely make sure you pay attention to that because you're going to be saving about $100 from that public sale because they say the remaining 8,500 NFTs will cost $300 each. So definitely stay tuned. We are going to be announcing those giveaways soon enough. But then as we can see here, they are going to be using the profits from that NFT sale to buy ASIC miners, which are these miners right here from Goldshell and of course other distributors. And they're going to be using 75% of that. Another 9% is going to be going to giveaways. And then they have 16% here that is going to the creator wallet. But in order to understand what this creator wallet is, it does say that it's going to be helped to pay the team salary along with everything involved in setting up the large-scale ASIC mining such as all of the logistics and of course there is a lot that goes into having this set up and making sure that they can secure the right kilowatt hour rate and all of the logistic behind setting that up. Now I do have a bit more information on their hosting services. So they have been able to secure a seven and a half cent kilowatt hour in terms of electricity. So that is definitely on the low side. It is going to be somewhere in North America. And what's most interesting here is the fact that this is renewable energy, meaning that they are producing this electricity or energy from hydroelectric power sources. So this is very cool because if we think of proof of work and we think of the energy and the detriment it has towards the planet, well, hydroelectricity, let me tell you, it has no detriment to the planet because of course it's water creating energy through turbines, which is awesome to see that they've went that route. Now they also say 24 seven onsite maintenance professionals. So if anything happens to their miners, they do have people on site 24 7 to make sure that everything is running smoothly and they also have video surveillance and on-site security so i'm very interested in finding out who is their hosting partner and of course we have a bit of time we have about a month to a month and a half before this launches and they are going to be confirming all the details prior to launch now, if we go ahead and we talk about what's in it for you, how much money can you expect making from this? And of course, how often are you gonna be receiving these rewards? If we take a look at their white paper, and again, these numbers are going to change. I was told that this number here, basically one NFT is a real ownership of up to 200 giga hashes per second of mining power, but they have basically told me that this number is probably gonna be closer to 400 100 giga hashes per second they are still confirming numbers and basically when they have those numbers confirmed it is going to be released before launch just to make people aware of exactly what they are purchasing now, if we go on to minerstat.com and we put this information in, so we have 200 giga hashes per second and we have the electricity cost of seven and a half cents, we can see that each month this is going to be giving us 3.5 kda per month now of course if i went ahead and i put 400 here it is just basically going to double that number so each month this nft could give you about 7 kda now you may be asking yourself well this is basically nothing 7 kda right now isn't worth all that much because we have a kda price of a dollar 74 and if we were to put that in there that's about 12 dollars each month and if we put that over one year, well, that's about $144. Now, what you have to take into account here is the price of KDA. So if KDA goes and goes back to, let's say, six or seven dollars and we have seven KDA per month, well, instead of putting twelve dollars a month in your bank, you're actually going to put about thirty five to forty dollars in KDA in your bank per month. So obviously it does depend on the price of KDA and obviously on the amount of NFTs you end up buying. But going back to this white paper, that's basically what one NFT is going to be generating. So if you are bullish on KDA and you do believe that KDA has a good future and can actually scale and go back to $10, $20 per coin, 
well, maybe this project is going to be very successful in the long term. Now, also, your NFT is going to represent a vote in their DAO, so you are going to have a say in what comes next with this project. Whether or not they're actually going to be buying more miners or doing something else with the money, you're going to have a say with your NFT in this project. Now, it also acts as a VIP pass to buy more hashing power in the future, which is obviously something to consider. So if you would want to buy more hashing power, you could definitely do that. But of course, you need to have an NFT in order to do so. Now, if we scroll down here and we talk about the income distribution and all of that KDA, where is it going? Who is getting it and where is it distributed? So as we can see, we have 50% that is going to be distributed on a monthly basis to each and every single one of those NFT holders. Then we have 25% that the DAO actually gets and those funds are gonna be used to purchase more miners eventually. Now, in terms of expenses, we are talking about 15% percent goes towards this wallet and here we're talking about electricity we're talking about hosting fees and we're also talking about infrastructure expansion now the last 10 percent is going to what they call the creator wallet this is mainly the team's expenses so they're going to be paying their team's salary and of course using some of that money if the market takes a downturn now something else very important to note here is that if you do sell your nft on the secondary market Market, they're actually going to be getting a 3.2% from that NFT sale that's going to the creator wallet in order to help pay the team's salary and about 2.8% that goes to the DAO wallet, which is of course helping the project grow because that DAO wallet is used to buy more ASIC miners. So that in a nutshell is Kadena Mining Club. Again, they have 10,000 NFTs. You buy one of these NFTs either for $200 if you're whitelisted and then $300 upon public sale. They're going to be buying some miners to mine KDA and you are going to be getting a passive income on a monthly basis generated in KDA and sent to you into your wallet. Now, of course, you do have to take into account the price of KDA, your outlook on KDA's future are you bullish are you bearish of course if you're bearish you're not going to be wanting to participate in this project if you are bullish this is a way to mine without actually having a miner of course you're not getting the same rewards but you're also not putting as much money up front so again nothing i say here is financial advice i definitely recommend following kda mining club if you are actually interested in this project again they are planning on launching in august so we do have a few months before that happens and i'm sure more information is going to come out now they also have a discord the team is super active there so definitely check those out and of course stay tuned for the giveaway take a look at my own twitter and discord and we are going to be giving away 10 whitelisted spots so with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.